हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज मी ध्रुव एंड आई एम हियर विद माय चैनल ध्रुव ड्रॉइड्स बैक विद द बैक विद अनदर वीडियो ऑन माय आर्डिनो कॉर्कॉप्टर व्हिच आई हैव बीन वर्किंग ऑन फॉर सम टाइम नाउ ऑलमोस्ट टू इयर्स सो इफ यू रेफर टू माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस और द एल्बम for the videos arduino quadcopter development so i have been developing this 450 class quadcopter which you can see right behind me the i have been using the arduino board as the flight controller so i am using the arduino board which basically a nano board arduino nano with the flight controller code which i have written myself and it's basically based on job brokins uh, original flight controller code so based on that i have been developing further and in the in my previous videos you can see the how i have achieved the stability and in the the most recent video which i had uploaded you can you can see the altitude hold function which i have add to added to my drone using a ultrasonic sensor so okay uh, so i'll just go around the drone's development in brief so what you see here is the quadcopter uh, i'm using this 450 class hardware It, and i'm using a fly sky remote the most basic remote so if you can see here this is a flight controller uh, this is the arduino nano this is the mpu6050 and it's all uh, soldered onto the pcb so i have been using this flight controller board for all my previous flights and uh, if you If you have seen the previous videos, I have also used a secondary Arduino board over here, secondary Arduino controller, uh, Nano, Arduino Nano. This secondary uh, Arduino Nano is I'm using it to using uh, to access or log data from a sensor from the height. It is a height sensor, all the or the sonar. So. so you can see the sonar underneath the drone this is the sonar or the ultrasonic sensor so i'm using this to measure the distance of the ground from the drone or i'm using measure the height of the drone so based on this in the previous video i have achieved a very a very stable height hold altitude hold and in today's video i will just discuss some more addition to this drone that is using a barometer so in today's video we will focus mostly on using a barometric sensor to measure the height or the drone height so uh, as you can see this is a arduino nano board and it is similar to the flight controller board the way it is soldered i have kept this same for some uh, just to make my assembly easier and similar to the flight controller board the nano and this is the mpu6050 the inertial measurement unit so in this case instead of the inertial measurement unit i have the barometer bmp280 right now it is concealed under this piece of tape okay i have removed the tape so you can see this is the bmp280 now this board which i'm holding here will replace the secondary board which is taped to the drone over here i have been using this secondary arduino board to log data from the sonar that is ultrasonic sensor and then uh, it is this board which i have made this uh, fresh will replace this board i will mount this board underneath the original flight controller so we'll just go underneath this original flight controller and then the communication as we had done earlier is via i2c so this cable this two wires that you see uh, is the i2c connection between the flight controller and the secondary controller so these are the connectors this is going all the way to the sda and scl pins in the second arduino board so in my new board i have kept 
I have connected these two pins, dew point pins, SCL, STA, as you can see. This will connect to this connector, this wire. So that way we will achieve the communication between the two the Arduino Nano. This Arduino Nano here is already connected to the BMP280 sensor. I have soldered on board. The data from this BMP280 or the barometer will be processed by this Arduino and then it will the values of the height or the altitude will be transmitted to the flight controller via I2C. In addition to this, in addition to this, these three pins over here, these three pins over here, uh, that is pin number D2 and pin number D3. Pin D2, I guess, is the trigger pin and D3 on the is the pin that receives the echo uh, which measures the duration of the sonar wave that, ha that has uh, that uh, bounces back from the ground so pin number D2 and D3 will connect to the ultrasonic sensor this is the cable so as you can see here there are four wires connecting my ultrasonic sensor. Two of these, these two, are the VCC and the ground, and these two are the trigger and the echo, echo uh, connections. So this echo the connections, this will connect to the. Pin here. D2 and D3. So this actually completes the uh, current phase of development that is this board will access data from two sensors that is the barometer over here and also from the distance ultrasonic sensor so with this i will i hope to achieve auto takeoff and auto land function and height hole using the ultrasonic sensor up to a height of 2 meters so beyond 2 meters i am I will actually try to achieve high hole using the barometric sensor. Okay friends, so this is all about the hardware that I will be using to incorporate a barometric sensor onto my drone. Also today's video was a quick walk through the entire development and the other phases of development that we went in the in the how I to build this drone. So in the next video I will describe the programming involved and what kind of data we are able to get back from a sensor and what are its limitations and issues so do watch the next video and also please like this video and share thank you for your time friends bye